Well, I'm drawing on a larger piece of research that I was um, awarded funding from, from the Irish Research Council. And um, basically what I was looking at, and I'm still looking at, is what is it like for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender teachers who are employed in Irish primary schools? Given the fact that the vast majority of primary schools in Ireland are denominational in their nature, in that they've got a religious ethos, things can be very, very difficult for LGBT teachers who are working in those schools. Because my research has revealed basically that for many of them, they have to compromise their professional lives and their personal lives, and that there's a tension between both. And they, in order to do that, in order to live a authentic personal life, um, they've got to compromise their authentic professional life. Um, and that manifests itself in a number of ways, one of which is that they will, for example, change the way they dress. They'll be very careful about what they talk about to their colleagues. They will almost be leading two competing lives. And this is particularly the case and difficult for those teachers who are in temporary contracts, because they're particularly fearful that given the lack of um, security around their jobs, that revealing their sexuality could in some way compromise their career trajectories. I think that any research that looks at issues that focus on groups or communities that have hitherto not had a voice, whose voice was never accessed, for people who feel silenced or don't feel that they've got the ability to articulate their experiences freely, I think that the social sciences have got a responsibility to look at those particular issues and those particular communities and give them a forum in which to express their lived experiences. And I think in the context of my own work, I've looked over many years at LGBT issues, particularly that um, amongst uh, LGBT teachers. And I think that from my original studies back at the, around in the year 2002, up until now, there has been a change. But I think part of that change is caused, or at least there's a contribution based upon the idea that there is more conversation taking place, there is more discussion, and that there is more research. And I think that's the critical importance of the type of research that I do and the type of research that is social sciences. It gives a voice, it gives the power, and it returns a level, a, a, a spotlight, and a focus on people who perhaps didn't have the ability to express their experiences before.